Hi guys and welcome to Horologic. Today we are going to be unboxing the Charlie Watch Concordia Nazare. I am sure many of you have not heard of Charlie Watch. So Charlie Watch is a pretty young Parisian brand created just in 2014, so not even 10 years old. And they have come up with this one. So this is the Concordia Nazare. And there's two versions of this one. There's the automatic version with, with the STP111 movement. And that is a 40 millimeter in diameter. And that will be around 645 on pre-order and 695 at normal price. So that will compete with all your Baltic and other French watches that have been coming of late. However, this one is the 37 millimeter but this one is a quartz, but don't go. This is a sweeping second quartz with the VH, with the Seiko VH 31 at its heart. And that makes it that the second hand beats four times per second, giving it an illusion of a mechanical watch. And Charlie Watch has sent me this watch for free. So I'm very thankful for that. And that is why you have seen the paid promotion. Of course, I have not received any other payment than the watch. Let's go, let's open this little piece. As you have seen, I have opened the main box and just here, just wanted to show you Charlie Watch's motto, Le plus beau reste l'avenir, which roughly means the future will be the best. Let me show you what came in the box quite quickly. So. Charlie Paris, there you go. You've got the warranty card and this watch is warranted for two years. Okay, the Moto and Y. Yes, this, as is the special edition, the Concordia Nazare. Why Nazare? Because Nazare, Nazare is a place, is a beach, I believe, in Portugal where there's these huge waves. So they have teamed up with Thomas Traversa, who is a huge wave rider, a champion of riding huge waves on a windsurf. And they have teamed up with him for this watch. So there we go, you've got a little bit of information regarding that. All right, and here you've got your user manual in English and French. All right, let's see what's in the box. You've got this sleeve in here. As usual, it's a bit tight, but we'll manage. All right. Hmm. Charlie Paris, as you can see. And there's some texture to this box. I don't know if it's a cardboard box. It doesn't appear to be cheap cardboard. It looks pretty good. And yes, look at how it opens. All right. Okay, so here is the watch. It looks pretty good. Looks quite good. I love the dial, actually. And as you can see, you can see those sweeping seconds in there. And that kind of fumé dial with the center being a little bit lighter than the outer edges. But we'll talk about that later. All right, I'll also talk about this back later. Let's first deal with dimensions. Yeah, we've got a 38 millimeter. We've got an 11 millimeter in height. That is the advantage of quartz. You've got a 46 millimeter log to log, so nice and compact. And you've got, of course, a 20 millimeter in log width. Here's how the watch looks on my six and three quarter inch wrist. This could be a very good everyday watch because of the size of the watch and because of the way it wears on medium wrists. I would, however, change the strap to something more, to something a bit less tooly. It could even accommodate leather. I was talking to you about the dial. Let's get back to it. So as you can see, you have got a Fumé style of dial here with the center being a marine blue and the outer part being a very deep blue. On the top part of the watch, you've got Charlie, which is the brand, Charlie Paris, actually. 
and you've got the stork. It is a stork actually, and it's supposed to represent the freedom of the brand. On the bottom part of the dial, you've got Concordia, so the model, and Nazare, which is the special model of this limited edition. 30 ATM, 300 mètres in French, Cocorico. <laughs> so this watch you can take diving. Perfect, that is, a very, that is very good news. The indices are applied. They are pretty thick. I hope they do carry quite a lot of loom. We'll see that later. And you've got circles on most indices, but for the 3, 6 and 9. Even at 12 you get a circle, like on the other ones giving this watch a pretty unique look, I believe, without making it too foreign or outlandish. You've got a minor track around the dial. As you might be able to see, we've got a domed crystal in here, and it does give off a lot of distortion. So it is a single domed piece of sapphire crystal. Let's actually check if we do have sapphire here. I am sure we do, but Let's check anyway. And yes, as you see, we've got a very nice piece of sapphire crystal here. Let's talk about those hands as well. You've only got quite simple baton hands in here for the hour and the minutes. And you've got a nor hand ticking at four times a second. Four times a second, why? Because you've got the Seiko VK31 in here, which helps keep the cost down for this watch. But the advantage is that you still have that ticking second, which gives you the impression of having an automatic watch in here. All right, as you can see, this watch has pretty good loom. I am pretty impressed. The loom is as good on the indices as it is on the hand, so that is very, very good. Good for Charlie watch. Let's talk about the case now, and let's start by the bezel. In this version, you've got a bezel that does not rotate, and the brushing is circular. That circular brushing is continued on top of the logs and you've got a quite nice chamfer separating the top of the logs from the sides of the watch that are brushed as well, but they're vertically brushed as you can see in here. The brushing seems to be done in quite a good way. Let's talk about the crown because it's a pretty interesting aspect of this watch. As you can see, you've got a conical crown and it's segmented in two with a blue ring in the middle. So that is very nice. I have not seen crowns like these, but maybe in the latest Omega watches. And all right, I believe this is a screw down. It has to be screwed down. It is a screw down crown, of course, ensuring those 300 meters of water resistance. And of course, you can operate the VK31 which hacks and it has started again. On the crown you've got a boat wheel, I believe it is a boat wheel, you know those old 18th century boats were driven with these big wheels, that reminds me of that, it's gotta be that, it's a navigator's wheel as well. And on the other side you've got the Nazare relief below the waves, below the ocean, so you can understand why those huge waves form. I've got watch number two. I don't know if you can read that, but I've got watch number two. And it says Versafir, Versafir, Sapphire Glass, made in France. And of course, this watch is made in France. Like the Swiss made and the Japan made labels, it does not mean, of course, that the whole thing is made in France. It means that part of the process, the main parts of the process of making and assembling this watch have been made in France. Let's quickly talk about that canvas strap. The strap is pretty good. It is, I had never had this kind of canvas straps before, but it's not bad. The buckle is however polished, I would have preferred to have it brushed. All right, this has been the unboxing of these Concordia Nazare quartz version. Remember that there's an automatic version as well with a rotating bezel. But for me, here's where the value lies. For 245 euros, this is a nice package. I know some of you will say there's other watches with the same movement that cost 100 euros. Well, yes, guys, but this watch is made in France. 
this is a new and upcoming brand and they're proposing new things and being made in France, of course I support them. So if you would like to get one of these, don't forget to check their website, which will be in the description below. And if you would like to see what they do, they do many, many other models as well. So don't forget to check their website to see what they do. All right, that's been the review, guys. I will be wearing this watch for a while, especially for Oromax, my friend channel. If you guys are interested, I can tell you what are my thoughts after a few weeks of wearing it. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's reach 5K, guys, this year. Let's go, come on. Go check these videos in the meantime. And as for me, I'll be seeing you very soon. Goodbye.